hi there again and I'm going to tell you about um, a Greeble plugin that I've found in Blender. So I'm making this new project and it's going to be a book as well. It's about design and imagery city, but this time I'm going to make it in real life. And I was wanting to make little elements in it that are quite detailed building structures that I want to 3D print out, hopefully kind of hollow. So it's going to have a light in it. It's going to shine out with all the details. It's going to make it quite splendid looking. Um, and the whole point, it, you know, I'm working with maker spaces, fab labs, maker movement. So again, I wanted to use something like Blender that's open source, but I wanted to make something really professional on it. If I use 3D Studio Max, it's good, but you have to pay for it. And it kind of takes away from that whole maker movement ethos. Um, and also that old sort of British tradition, like you get in things like Doctor Who, you know, make, do and mend, you know, where you had to, where they use really, really budget special effects and occasionally it looked quite good um, anyway so here's the but I mean this time it, it can look really good because blender does make good stuff and so, so without much more to be said on that um, you need to get the Greeble FX Python file and download it from the site that I list below and then you just put it into your add-on scripts folder in the add-ons folder paste it in there you open max up then you go to user preferences, which is here, and you type, search for Greeble, and then you go to there and you switch it on. So it's simple, really. Okay. And then I've got this simple structure here. So I'm going to select the simple structure. And T for tool shelf, I'm going to add some Greeble faces. So I'm going to press tab just to show you that I've subdivided the structure. And that will give it more detail when the Greeble goes on. So Greeble is basically a way to add little features like you get on massive structures like buildings, spaceships, machinery and stuff like that. I think it was one of the first times it was used in Star Wars, you know, in the Death Star when the TIE fighters go in to destroy it, you know, in the first Star Wars film. So I'm, anyway, I'm going to select this object and I'm going to go click on Greeble Faces. And as you can see, immediately it's added lots of little details to all those polygons. And if I reduce the amount, it looks even better because it takes out the uniformity and expands the polygons as I take down the amount of greebles. Then we can kind of mess around with the height going on. It's not actually that clear. The spinner in that is not that clear, to be honest. So there you go. And then we can apply greeble. And that's done, like so. It doesn't seem to be attaching there. And then we can go through the process again. So we can go to Greeble Faces, make sure it's selected the outer bit. And we can reduce the amount to make it look more interesting. We can mess around with the height. We can also do things at like offset edges. That's quite a nice effect going on there. But I won't do it just yet. And I'm going to apply Greeble again. Um, just do it one more time, I think. No, I'm not going to do it one more time, actually, because that's looking quite nice. It's looking quite 1970s, retro-futuristic, you know, big sort of structure that you might find on a sci-fi, you know, painting and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna, just going to show you the... So I'm going to make sure it's the outer one selected. I'm just going to show you Custom Greeble. So here's a cube that I've made earlier. It's called GRR for Greeble and it's just a simple box with a you know inset and then extrusion inwards and I'm going to select this this bit here this Greeble shape and then I'm going to go to custom Greeble and I'm going to add GRR and then as if by magic it appears like a outbreaks of smallpox onto the outer Greeble and then I can adjust the size so look at that that's really nice and you can do, you know, you can make the size a bit variant. You can have the size variant. I mean, <laughs> I mean the size differing. And then you can scale it up. So that's already, that's looking really nice. It's got a nice look about it as so. Um, so there you go. So that's basically how it works. So some things not too clear regarding it not fixing onto the other stru you know the internal structure but that can be amended by getting it all you know fixed and stuff you know um, um, 
I was gonna say fuse together, you know, join together. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna select left click and control to do a lasso select of the greeble area. Um, actually I'm gonna delete that camera. And then I'm just gonna move that and then I'm gonna do another left click and control. Make sure, yep, that's well, that's selected that as well, but who cares? Then I'm going to add a new material and trying to add it onto the whole lot. So let's go to new. We've got a cycles render set up here. Let's go to transparent and change the color. Let's go up to material. Okay, so it's changing the color on the outer one. Let's just select everything in the scene and see if it will cooperate. So let's delete that material and make a new material. All right. Okay, well it's not seem, seem to co cooperate because it's not adding that material into the inner structures. So I'm just going to do that manually like so. And again manually like so. And then I'll change the diffuse to translucent because it makes quite a nice effect. I'll change the color a bit. And I've set up a, a nice sky texture on the world node editor. The world is here. Make sure you don't put it on the object. On the, t the, yeah, the object node editor. Make sure you put it on the world. And then I'm just going to take this into rendered mode and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's quite dark. Hmm, it's not as good as I thought. It's probably because I deleted the... No, I didn't delete the lights. Oh well. Let's just select all again and let's take it to materials. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look. Let's change the color. Translucent. I don't really know. Let's take it back to render. Perhaps it's to do with the sky. No. There we go. Just take that up to white and change it to a sort of different color. It's a nice color. And as you can see, giving a render in the display viewport of a translucent material. And voila, it's starting to look nice. I think you'll agree. And this opens up really good possibilities for when I'm going to try to 3D print this. I'm not sure if it's going to work at this detail but it remains to be seen and I'll test it. So there's my graphics card fan, I think, kicking in. And I'll leave it there. So thanks very much for watching this and tune in to see the results of this when it's 3D printed and the progression of this project I'm doing. So thanks very much. Remember to check out my website, jamesoverlart.com for more tutorials and my own artwork to buy and also remember to subscribe to this channel because I've got loads of stuff in this. So thanks very much for now and bye for now.